Hi, welcome to part two of the speeds topic. I've got my fiddle again and I'm Ben again. So this time I'm looking at the slower speeds. Now this is not something um, I'm known for hugely, but I love the slow ballads. Going back to the, the first video on the, the faster speeds, for the same reason of the big contrasts, every now and again, it's really nice to have a real slow um, speeds. I tend to really make a massive difference between those. I tend to, if it's gonna be slow, it's gonna be really slow. I feel it adds that element of beauty to a show and an emotion. These are the moments for me where people just completely get lost in these beautiful slow songs. I think the one thing with playing slow, and I've heard a lot of people say this over the years as well, it is harder to play slow because every note people are clinging on to. It's not like playing really fast where the note's gone in a blur and it doesn't matter what, if it was right or wrong with it. With the slow, slow ballads, people do listen to every note. And also the clarity and the tone of the notes is so important. For me, it's a, in a slow ballad, in a slow solo, I am looking to create another melody that complements the tune, as opposed to just playing kind of random licks. I think that way it can really complement the tune, the melody that's already there and get the most beauty out of it. So I would practice in the slower ways, just in a similar way to how I've mentioned I practiced before, by playing along with people who play these beautiful songs. And the more you play along with them, the more ideas you get. I practice trying to make these melodies as I go. To really try and pitch the, those notes I think for me is an incredibly important part of the slow ballads to really make sure every note is bang on and I mean to hit it because it's so obvious when I've not meant to do something, when I, I clip something or I've got those, those kind of nasty sounds going on and I feel when I play out of tune in a ballad, I feel that's really obvious. So they are the things I would look at practicing So a real nice way of practicing this, and hopefully this translates onto other instruments as well, is to play really long notes, long slow notes, and focus in a lot on the intonation as you play in them, and the tone as well. Or just do an arpeggio of G, but really I would try and do this on every single note possible. So as a few examples off the top of my head, um, beautiful Nightingale sang in Barclay Square. So there's Besame Mucho as well, that beautiful minor Latin tune.
So there's my take on speeds. In a nutshell, I love the contrast, the real contrast between the, the really fast and the really slow, and then those kind of mid-tempo for the great swinging songs. As always, these are my, uh, my ideas on such topics, and keep doing, if you love the slow songs, fantastic. If you love fast songs, if you just love the swinging jazz songs, then brilliant. I hope uh, you found something interesting. We'll see you next time for Five Minute Fiddle. Examples of slow ballads. Uh, what am I going to say? What am I going to say? I've talked about Skylark before. I've talked about Body and Soul. Nightingale, I suppose, somewhere with the Rainbow. Uh,